parts of this. Okay, so that looks about right. Uh, and then I'll do one more. So it's two to one. Now if I wanted to add the pigment, now would be the easiest time and it would just blend effortlessly in. And so another couple interesting attributes of both of these adhesives, they're they kind of the purest um, of epoxies because they both are considered, uh, they have almost no VOC, which is volatile organic compounds, which is, and you can tell if it has high VOC, it smells strong. And this has no odor. Um, the other thing is that these are both food safe once they cure, so they're used a lot for kitchen counters. Um, but, you know, that's, and they don't yell. Well, this is how they, they, yeah. they, they join them. <laughs> Seema. And so another, now, um, maybe I'll get into that later. So we're just going to mix it up. And you can't really even tell you're mixing it. Most adhesives are going to be different colors. You're going to have like one component's going to be clear and one will be like light brown or whatever the two colors are. It's going to be like a mixing a cake and you're going to see it's not big. So then you're going to know it was mixed. With this, it's like clear on clear. So you can't really tell you're doing anything. You can kind of feel it. The viscosity change kind of get a little heavier and it kind of crackles a little. But basically, you just stir it up for a minute and make sure it's mixed. Okay, so it's not complicated. Uh, and then we're going to apply it to one of the two surfaces and then join the stone. And then I'm going to show you how we can uh, clamp it to keep it aligned and stable until it cures. Um, a couple of the, uh, someone was asking me this question earlier today because they, they had done some repairs. And with this adhesive, actually with the one in the tubes, and uh, it worked well. They said it went up to 70 degrees, but they did it again when it was cooler and it took, you know, they thought it was never going to harden, but it did. It just took longer. And so that's, the working time is variable depending on the temperature. The hotter, the faster. Um, but they, you would call working time or hot light, uh, it's an old term, historic term that was used for that. Um, when they used to make hot glues or pot, probably. And, um, but anyway, the, the, the working time on this is probably like 20 minutes on an average, and the cure time is probably like about an hour or two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right down the middle here. And I gotta be on one side, so somebody's gonna be blocked. Uh, I'm gonna go right down the middle, then I'm gonna work it out toward the edge a little. So we're trying to minimize squeeze out. Now one of the, the only major disadvantage of epoxy in general is that it doesn't allow vapor transmission, but um, it's not really important in the middle of a stone. Um, if you're close to the ground, it'll stop rising damp and then it'll tend to fail sooner. Uh, but otherwise it tends to perform quite well. The only kind of, the only way you can do a repair without pushing the stone apart. Most people are on the back, and so the front that is it's going to be a perfect seam, and there's some loss in back, so it's not going to look nice in the back. Uh, because the front on this side over here, so everyone's kind of on the wrong side. Uh, but you can see the process. It's just not this way. Okay, I'm going to take just a little off. I don't think it's too much here. And you don't need much in these. Too much is not a good thing, it's going to make a mess. And it's going to squeeze out and then you're going to want to try to you know, remove it and then end up smearing it. Great. So now we can just join it. It's a small stone, it's not heavy. And it goes this way. little lateral movement to get it to seat itself. It'll tend to draw itself together. Um, we, don't, we could tap it with like a rubber mallet lightly, but it's not necessary. We got a tiny bit of squeeze out. Okay, so um, brace this and keep it aligned with uh, bar clamps and blocks. And we, we, have, we sell all of these things. We also have a kit that puts them all together. And so, um, there's a lot of gloss there, but it's okay. Um, so we'll just span the brake and then we're going to put a clamp on each side. 
with one there, one here. Now we could do this if we have to. We can certainly do this on each side, but this will be enough for safety and alignment most of the time on one clamp, one set of clamps. And so that's basically the process of fixing the fracture tablet. Uh, now, I'm going to show you how we can make an infill material. I'll just back up here so everybody can like that. It's gonna, we're going to be able to probably use three or four parts of the drive to equal amount of the epoxy. What was that mix again with the, with the uh, sand and the... It's five, four to one. It's, it's not a specific ratio at all. But, but there's a lot more uh, sand than glue, correct? Correct. Yes. correct. And you're going to just add it till you make it, till it starts to lose stickiness. Mm -hmm. And it, you're going to change the whole, uh, it's going to like basically go through a phase change. It's going to be something you can pick up. Mm -hmm. So we're going from something that's a, that's like a, like trying to pick up mayonnaise. We're going to be able to pick this up like a, like a ball. Like a putty. Correct. Basically, that's, that's well put. Now we can do this also with granite dust and the same epoxy. And in fact, one of these epoxies would be exactly what was used for if a modern monument was lettered wrong and, um, and, and a monument company uh, was going to repair it. Um, the way it goes with monuments, if it was um, their fault and they made a mistake, then they would have to make a new one for free. But if it was the family's fault, then they could fix it for you, you know, because otherwise, basically, the way it is today, you know, you'd have to send the whole thing, they'd have to recut the whole thing. And on a smaller stone, it's more, it's going to be more money than making a whole new one. Because you'd have to ship it back up, and then they'd have to, work, you know, reface the whole thing, and then it would be thinner than it started. So you can see it, it sucked all that in, and it's not nearly enough. And I have more of this. I've gone through, doing a whole, doing this a bunch of times, I've gone through a couple of times. So, I mean, we sell it. We buy it by the pallet, and then we sell it by the bucket. We sell quartz and gallons. So we just keep mixing it in. It's going to bulk this up. It's going to get thicker and thicker and whiter and whiter as we go because it's drawing in more and more of the uh, marble. Uh, you want to get it so you start to lose stickiness, but it has to have some stickiness or it doesn't work. So um, that's why you work it uh, kind of like, see now it's something I can pick up. And my glove got torn, so I'm going to upgrade and start over. All right. So what I'm going to do is just take the excess off of here. Right here, it's squeezed out a little. but we, So instead of smearing it, it will stay clear, but we'll get a shine on it. So the way to remove it is just a little bit at a time, like this. And just remove it and wipe it off, and then we don't smear it at all. So it's flat, you know, just go slow and just remove it. So if you smear it, then it gets into the stone and you can't remove it. Um, you can remove this when it's wet with a, with a solvent like acetone. Or and that total is an offset spatula kind of thing? Uh, this is a, a tuck pointer, which is okay. about the most like an offset masonry tool. spatula kind of thing. That's not um, what your point of view is. These <laughs> come in all different sizes. We're going to use a smaller one in a second. This is the most common size tuck pointer. It's three eighths of an inch, but they come from three sixteenths to one inch. And we're going to use. Knife work? Say it again. Would a putty knife work? Like... No, uh, to remove this excess, but not to do what I'm going to do now. Oh, okay. okay, this is the smallest tuck pointer made. This is three sixteenths. This is the most common size. This is 3 eighths. And this is one of the larger sizes that's not very common, like 7 eighths. They come in all sizes. Like This is what you use these to put mortar between to bricks or masonry. Yep. Um, but they have many applications, obviously. So, um, yep. all right, so let's see, we have a little down at the back. Let's take the uh, What I'm going to do is so a big hole on this side, so I'll move the clamps and so I can fill that. Okay, so we'll take 
Uh, now the two tools I usually use for this are like, this is the other most common tool, is um, a margin trowel. This is a two inch by six. These also come in two by five, one and a half by five, and then a less common size two by eight. Um, so um, anyway, what I use this as a, um, here, this is the biggest one right here. This is a giant version of this, two by eight. So I use this as a little like um, shelf a lot of times. Um, and it would be similar to what's called a hawk in doing pointing work. Mm -hmm. And so in this way, I can put this right up to the stone and then you push a little bit at a time and I can fill this void. In. And so we wanna push it to the back all the way. We wanna go a little bit at a time. You're not gonna see anything back there. So uh, I'm not sure. Come around after. But, uh, anyway, so just build it up a little at a time. It's pretty firm. And so it doesn't dive in. It's not like, uh, you know, cake frosting. It's much stiffer material. So it's, it's ant crawling. That's annoying. So I'm going to come right up to the surface. And generally go little bits at a time. It's going to be a lot easier to control. And you're working down the joint. And then you can almost make it disappear. Uh, it has to do with how the, te the texture is, how dry the... Basically what this is, is a, like a composite patching material made from clear epoxy mixed with a lot of marble. And so um, it's very compatible with the marble. Because it is marble. Sparkle to it. See, now we filled in that deep spot. 